In this video, I'm going to show you how to take any photo and turn it into an album cover in the style of the artwork of the Smiths in like two minutes. So here's an original photo and I'm just working in a new document that is about 3000 by 3000 pixels. Uh, you can choose whatever size you want, but if we're pretending this is an album cover, that's about 10 by 10 inches. And I've just dragged my original photo on there. So you can actually make it a full size photo like some of their albums or like some of their albums are just a smaller size photo inside of a canvas. But uh, let me just delete everything that I did previously. So either way, uh, I'll show you both ways. The first thing we're going to do is just make it a duotone or two tone image. So I'm going to right click on my photo layer and just make sure that it's converted to a smart object. And that way we can play around with our edits non-destructively. And the first thing I'll do is make it two-tone. So I'm going to go to image adjustments, gradient map. And here you can choose any two colors you want. So uh, whatever you want, you can play around with it. I'm just going to use some sort of pastel style colors. Seems like they often used pastel style colors, um, but nothing like too vibrant looking, something maybe a little bit more mellow. And I'll press OK with this combo here. Maybe I'll make this even a little brighter. Uh, a quick tip when you're working the color picker, like uh, normally it's set to hue, H mode, and you can see all the colors and go through the slider. But if you want to fine tune in on one color, uh, a little trick is you can actually switch over. So S is like saturation. I can make it more or less saturated. L is like lightness. I can make it lighter or darker. And so if you find a somewhat of a color you like, sometimes you can just play around with it, like boost the saturation a little bit, increase the lightness a little bit, instead of just trying to do it here. But they're all the same. So I'll press OK, and I'll press OK on this gradient, and that'll go for that. And then I can create a new background layer if I want. So there's many ways to do that, but I'm just going to go to Layer, New Fill Layer, Solid Color, and for this color, I can just draw from the uh, photo that we used or use the same exact color from the gradient map, but I'll double click on it and I'll use my color picker, ink drop a color from the actual photo or use the same exact color from the gradient map. So I'll press OK there. And another thing I'm going to do to our photo just to give it more of a film grain texture is go to filter, noise, add noise. So here you can add a certain percentage of noise up to your taste and you can choose uniform or Gaussian and monochromatic or not. I would say keep it monochromatic, but most importantly, and a little trick that I'll do is really we should have added the noise first. So what you can do is just take the noise and put it under the gradient map so that the gradient map gets applied after the noise. And one thing you can do is even double click on this little slider to add blending options onto the noise. So one thing you can lower the opacity of it, or you can set it onto a blending mode like overlay or hard light or something like that. And uh, this way you can sort of multiply those colors together and get a little bit more contrast and grain. So you can see that adds a nice little grain to it and you can, tweak your original photo however you want. You know, if you really want, you can even maybe add a little bit of a Gaussian blur onto your original photo just to make it look a little bit more old still. But again, if you're going to add the blur, I would put it under the noise so that the noise gives it a little bit more of that sharpness back. And then finally, you can just add simple text, whatever you want. So I'm just going to use times bold italic font and you can Put whatever you want for your parody album art name and uh, whatever song title you want. <laughs> and of course, I have Snap 2 set on. So as I use my Move Tool, Photoshop automatically snaps things to, to their centers and whatnot. You can adjust that setting under View, and you see Snap is checked on. And if you want, you can even add other little touches uh, maybe on a new layer, you could add little lines or whatever you want. Fill those selections in with the lines or 
stripes, whatever borders you want. Or if you were doing it in the full screen style, you could just take your original photo, press Command T or edit free transform. Also, the reason this keeps coming up is it's just telling you smart filters. This is a smart layer. So while you're doing any adjustments, the preview will get turned off for a second. So don't freak out. But uh, I'm just going to increase the size of this. I'm holding Option or Alt to stretch it symmetrically from the center. And uh, once I press Enter, all the filters get applied again. And you have the same thing here. So it's really a quite simple effect to recreate album artwork in the style of the Smiths. It could probably do it in one or two minutes without all this explaining. And you can always go back, double click on the gradient map if you want and try out different colors. So have fun with this. Uh, hopefully you learned something even if you don't wanna create album artwork like this and it's giving you some ideas. If you like this video and you're learning Photoshop, I have a playlist with hundreds of more videos for free here on my channel. And you can subscribe to my channel here on YouTube to stay tuned for all of the new educational and free videos that I post. So my name is Justin Odisho. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.